the Orb of Negation is now yours. And with its power, your victory is all but certain. But move quickly, for time is running out. And if the power of the Fount of Wizardry is bound by one of your rivals, not even the Orb will protect you from their power. Hello everybody, welcome back to Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross, and this is Heroes of Might Magic 2, the expansion campaign, Wizard's Isle. We're at the end, the final scenario, the Fount of Wizardry. You must take control of the Castle of Magic, where the Fount of Wizardry lies. Do this and your victory will be supreme. Ravika, welcome back to the chat. Happy Tuesday. Thank you for joining, appreciate it. We're here, we're ready to play. <laughs> days spent, 312, it's a lot of days. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, our awards to this point are the Guardian Spell, which is the um, guarding a mine with the um, Earth Elementals. And of course, last scenario, we found the Sphere of Negation, which I don't know if we want, but we have. We're wizards too. We like to cast spells, but something tells me that this scenario is going to be ridiculous. Uh, we have a choice of five wood, five ore, or 1,000 gold. Which is suggesting to me that they're not going to give us any resources. So I'm actually going to take the wood. I'm going to take the wood. For wizards, the wood is much more important in the early game than ore. Ore is a lot more important for alignments like knight, warlock, Really a knight and warlock. Maybe barbarian. But the early buildings for a wizard, besides the foundry, really only cost wood. So we're going to go with that. For better or for worse, here we go. You have hired a barbarian of great power to aid you in this. Your last quest. His origins are unknown to you. But you sense strong nobility beneath the furs and dirt that cover him. Oh my god, it's Uncle Isvan. In addition, the famous explorer Marco the Wizard is rumored to have wrecked his ship in this new land. Finding him would prove to be a much needed boon to your cause. Uh, yep. Cool. We got. Ooh. Summon boat seems pretty handy. I just want to learn those spells. Buy a spell book. Hell yeah. There's the Sphere of Negation. Disables all spell casting for both sides in combat. I guess I didn't have to buy a spell book. <laughs> Uncle Ivan the Barbarian. I'm gonna call him Uncle Isfan, because I like Magic Gathering. The truth is out there. I'm sure it is. Take that basic wisdom, son. A visit and a prayer at the temple raises the morale of your troops. Lots of goblins, huh? Yeah, why not? Let's give it a shot, huh? It's kind of ironic that in a campaign that's about nothing but wizards, in the last scenario they give you a barbarian. Which I suppose if you have the uh, Sphere of Negation, it doesn't matter. Look out! Advanced wisdom. Not that I mean spell casting again. Thanks, Vorshock. From the observation tower we see distant lands. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna go pick up that shipwreck survivor and then maybe that one too. Here we go. 
able to shipwreck survivor from certain death in an unforgiving ocean. Gratefully, rewards, are, uh, rewards you for your act of kindness by giving you the Medal of Valor. Uh, okay. That's not that exciting. <laughs> not exciting at all. I'm gonna go get the other guy, though. Maybe. Cold Icicle. How's your cold supposed to do 50% more damage than enemy chips? Meh. Disappointing, really. Hmm. Threat Independent. Ah, oh, these, these are lame. These are bad. These are not good. These are terrible. Man says it looks like a good sized map for a final scenario. Yeah, it does. It means it's gonna take me forever. Oh, we have a marketplace. Oh, hot dang. Not the tax lien or hideous mask. True. Uh, any more gold? There's some stuff right here. I'm gonna collect it. Alright, um... Yeah, I'm gonna save all my resources. Really could use a castle. That'd be great. Damn it. Get back in the hand. Build the castle, please. Thank you. Feel the rat. Rolling's increased population. Um. Geez, well, I can't really build anything. Circle back around. Cliff nest, three thousand gold. Okay. Yeah, resources sure are scarce. Captain's quarters. Build a moat as well. I got nothing else to build. We gotta figure out where we're going. Right. 
sail away with me. Week of the Condor. Please. Command. Oh, this is where the shipwreck is. Help me. Go south, go south. I am a robot. I can only write incomplete sentences. Being held. Prisoner where? Prisoner on. Ah, oh, the statesman's quilt. That artifact sucks. The island. Okay. The island. Gonna have to be a bit more specific. More than one island. Island of the Necromancers. Thank you. That's a little more specific. We're almost there. Shut up. A bit closer. <laughs> Excuse me. I want that. Rondo. fight the bone dragon for the artifact? Yeah, sure. Cool. Tori's sticky prize down this file of Mercury. Worth it. It's an area where we have no resources, that's pretty good. Bug of the Beetle! Whoop. You're here! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm in the jail east of the castle. Please hurry. Come on! East of the castle, huh? East of the castle, huh? Frickin' liar. In a dazzling display of daring, you break into the local jail and free the hero in prison there, who in return pledges loyalty to your cause. By the way, East? Friggin' liar. Wilfrey! Marco the Wizard. Legendary Scepter adds two points to all attributes. Whoa! Crystal Ball? Cool. Oh, he's way better. Pretty similar. From the observation tower, you will see distant land. gonna take a few things like that and this and I guess the sphere of negation Just for now.
enchanted hourglass. That's useless. Get the crystal ball, that's right. 27 battle dwarves. Lucky rabbit's foot, that's pretty good. And this card of ore should be handy. Alright, let's go get some reinforcements, right? Mages. I have no mages. That's appreciated. And we need to trade for some ore. Oops. I'm just going to burn it. Yeah, learn the spells you can't cast. Negation. That's enough to party. Hey, get back in the boat. Let's figure out where we're going. Not there. Not there. Not there either. Um, 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 um. fighting but so shouldn't let me cast anything your negation yep okay oh that's lucky if magic one two four says it's weird as soon as I stop pirating I know what to play now <laughs> Welcome back to the chat. Good to see you. 
Oh, drop him, my guy. Habit that is less than savory. Shoot him. Mistake. Magic says it's not going to do the PS1, PS2 stuff yet. Got stuff on PC you want to purchase first? Great. Go forth. Great things. PC. Ooh, we could probably take it. PC Master. <laughs> Go save the game. Revenge. The necromancers have held you prisoner. My friend, actually. I'm just take some boars. I'll take this too. Just for this fight. Uncle Ivan to Marco. Amazing. Coffee already. All right. Force of habit. Mm -mm. Ow. Familiar with those titles, McMagic Winter Force says, uh, I'm gonna buy the Spell Force games, I think. They're an RTS RPG hybrid. That sounds cool. <coughs> Ow. Cristo. Van over here is gonna build up his own undead army. Oh, 
Oh, 57 iron gold. That's a lot of iron gold. It's going to be even more. This is the new week. 65 iron gold. I don't know if I can do this, but I'm gonna try. <coughs> McMagic124 says one of the voice actors in the third is great is Geralt of Rivia, so that's all I need. Doug Cockle? Is in Spellforce? I did not know that. Doug Cockle, yum. <laughs> Oh, this is bad. I'm going to use this. I'm going to trick the AI into just going back and forth. I take out the steel golems. Little force who voices a character. That's amazing. Yeah, sure. Magic says I'm a huge Witcher nerd. Obscure fact Geralt is not actually from Rivia, he just developed a Rivian accent. Yeah, that's correct. I think actually, um, the first time they mentioned, like, someone asked him, where's Rivia? He says, I made it up because Geralt doesn't sound good, but Geralt of Rivia sounds better. It makes you more employable. But then later on in the books, he actually gets knighted by the Queen of Rivia in, like, a very ironic sort of scene. I think uh, Andrei Sapkowski decided that uh, there needs to be a place that's called Rivia. On Henry Cavill, like, yeah. Although I do enjoy Henry Cavill's portrayal of Geralt. British Witcher. I mean, not being able to cast spells kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like it. I lose my unicorn, but whatever. Six, seven, seventeen, nineteen. Oh boy! says I would watch the show were it not for the uh, clear inaccuracy. It's not saying the show is bad, but I wouldn't enjoy it. I thought the same thing. Well, not really. I was excited for it because uh, I like Henry Cavill. That's helpful. Um, actually, aside from Dandelion's name being Yaskier, Aren't very many like inaccuracies. They don't change that much from the books at least. That was expensive, but you found a goblin weapon smithy making weapons for use against humans with a tremendous yell, you and your army descend upon their camp and drive them away. Search finds a magic ore cart that never runs out of iron. Who will sorry? Enter Rickety Hut and talk to the magician who lives there. He tells you places near and far. It may aid you in your journeys. Boom. Ooh. There's one. Two. There's three. Pouch of crystal. God, they're 
Are there no mines on this map? It's just artifacts? They drive me insane. Drive me insane or drive me insane? I went through the tent and see an old woman gazing into a magic gem. She looks up and says, In my travels, I've learned much in the way of arcane magic. A great oracle taught me his skill. I have the answer to see. The brown keyword is cloak. Brown cloak. Dang it. <coughs> ah, okay. The magic says, I'm talking about the black elves and the queen who is wearing plate arms swinging a big ass sword. Uh, nowhere in Andrzej Sapkowski's work does he ever specifically mention someone's race. Doesn't really describe too much about appearances. Mostly about clothing, actually. You know, Geralt has white hair. Yennefer has dark hair and blue eyes. And uh, Triss Marigold has red hair. And Siri has, like, silver hair. That's really it. It doesn't ever really describe what Vesemir looks like. I don't remember. Even what Dandelion specifically looks like. You know. Sometimes when I read books and stuff, I just, I just decide someone's black or Asian or something like that. It's kind of fun. Get in the boat, baby! Get in the boat. We'll talk to a mermaid. That sounds like fun, right? We have the crystal ball, I know, but I'm just trying to get... Red and yellow. Red and yellow, red and yellow, red and yellow, red and yellow. Trying to get a feel for the landscape. Let's take control of the Castle of Magic. That's right. Going for a specific castle. We have to save yourself, mermaid. The magical soothing beauty of the mermaids reaches you and your crew. Just for a moment, you forget your worries and bask in the beauty of the moment. Mermaid's charms bless you with increased luck for your next combat. Can't sail through here. Explore. Ooh, hello. Yeah, I think I think the key word there, in Magic One Two Four, is that they are works of fiction, uh, and they're not based on any sort of historical accuracy. I mean, it's a world some dude made up. Kind of the long and short of it. I don't mind what they did for casting for any character. What the hell are you doing? We work this land. This is our far forefather's land. The willow tree. We are the willow tree people. People love the tree. Island of the Meek. My title's better. Neil says, did I miss too much? I don't know. How much is too much? 59 mutant zombos. Sure. We're in scenario four, my friend. We found the Orb of Negation. And I, I really don't like it. <laughs> I miss casting spells. Those are fun times. Willow tree peasants are invincible. Can't possibly attack them. Flower, nice to see you. Says I can't watch the new Star Wars. It's just nonsense. <laughs> Excuse me. You know what? I haven't really watched it. I watched Rogue One, and I liked it. It was a pretty, like, 
throwaway type of movie, but it was fun. But I watched, uh, I never watched The Force Awakens, but I watched The Rise of Skywalker. It wasn't my choice, like, I was hanging out with someone who was watching it. Seems kind of lazy. <laughs> I'm a magic one, two, four. I mean, uh, yeah, you said we can agree to disagree about things. I'm just saying, like, I didn't. I don't look at the Netflix Witcher series like it's the uh, like it's the the portrayal of the whole universe. It's just it's just part of that zeitgeist, you know? Well, not even zeitgeist. Zeitgeist isn't the right word. It's just it's just like a fun interpretation of the books and the in the video games. There's nothing definitive about it in my mind. Um so I mean if you you know and, you know, the, the concern as a fan is that uh, this is the first exposure a lot of people have to The Witcher. And you want it to be good. You want it to be compelling. You want it to be exciting. You want them to experience the same things that uh, you experienced when you first were discovering that world. In so far as that point, I think the Netflix show does a fine job. So, I mean, they can pretty much do whatever they want with casting. It's their show. Um, I'm here for it. I'm along for the ride with the race, racial swapping and gender swapping and um, anything they want to do. It's their interpretation of it, so. It's not perfect. I don't think it's perfect. I'm a huge fan of The Lord of the Rings. I don't look at Peter Jackson's movies as a, the definitive movies. That's not the real life happenings that Tolkien envisioned. It's just it's Peter Jackson's interpretation of it. I like those movies. They're far from perfect. Talk about uh, swapping out characters. They just totally took Glorfindel out of the picture. Glorfindel, I can write paragraphs and paragraphs about Glorfindel. <laughs> oh Lord, I've been working very hard to provide you with these resources. Come back next week for more. Thank you, Crystal. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The shrine. Catch up on chat here. <laughs> Bar's just like quoting the <laughs> episode 7, 8, 9 Star Wars. McMagic goes, all right, here, I'll give you some legroom. I will watch the show. Give it three episodes worth. If I enjoy it, I'll come here and admit I was wrong, but in the books, Fragilla was absolutely described as pale skin. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... I'll say this much about the show. And then, and then I'll probably move on to something else. That's the last thing I want to say about it. When I was reading the books and Geralt wasn't there in the story, I didn't care. The same thing happens in the show. So I think the show is absolutely capturing the spirit of the books. <laughs> Leo's asking to see the shrine. Uh, what shrine are we talking about here? You talking about the skull pile? It's the first, I think, legitimate use of the rage emo. What shrine are we talking about? I don't see any shrines. Trying, 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 trying. Oh, 
Magic says that's how I feel playing the games, even. I'm more concerned about the state of the world. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're talking about this. Leo. Actually, McMagic124, I'll say this. Uh, I'll tack this on. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what's happening, buddy, but uh, your ass is on fire. Call the fire department. Ass fire department. <laughs> Ninja. <laughs> My ass is on fire. It's stupid. What a statement. I want to put that on a t-shirt. Ass is on fire. It's stupid. Uh, Leo says he's never seen the shrine before. This is the necromancer skill of all your necromancers by 10%. We don't have any necromancers. I might not be building it. <coughs> Excuse me. But this is an expansion-only building. Only occurs price of loyalty expansion. This was not the castle we started with. I, I took this castle. Which I'm going to build another marketplace. Build the marketplace. Uh... Alright, what is the science today? Notice those who put messages in bottles will be torch. <laughs> There's a whole line of like <laughs> messages in bottles all the way here. That's where we got uh, Wilfrey, or Marco, as he's called in this scenario. Which scenario is that? We're in scenario four, the Fountain of Wizardry. This is the last scenario of the campaign. And I'm pretty sure there are no mines. Only artifacts that give you resources. It would drive me insane. Month of the Hornet! Holy shit! Breeze! Breeze everywhere! Brown keyword is cloak. Brown cloak. Oh, Thirty-two mummies. Might be worth it. Well, no, it's not worth it at all. We can't cast spells. What the hell good is a mage ring? Powers 11, we get this piece of snakes. You know what? Maybe I'll fight him since I'm here for the experience and then give the ring to Uncle Isfad over there. This is a big map where I need multiple heroes. Him up, man, I'm up.
<laughs> Part is like, I, I, I do not understand how you can fly a ship and not know where the top and bottom are. Primitive airplanes, their indicators of height, even showing what state of the plane. And here, star cruisers don't even know where the top and bottom is. That's a really, really solid point. Those movies just seemed a little lazy to me. Like they, uh, they just, they didn't, they definitely did not care about what the fans wanted to see or what the actors wanted to do. Uh, and they just made movies to bank on the brand of Star Wars. I do like that they're making more, uh, more content like a Mandalorian, Obi-Wan, and um, like Rogue One, and Han Solo, and everything like that. The Han Solo movie. Cry of Pain leads you to a centaur caught in a trap. Upon setting the creature free, he hands you a small pouch. Emptying its contents, you find a dazzling jeweled ring. Plus two to spell power. A ruby. Yeah, I'm gonna go fight these guys. Have a little bit of ore down. Build the statue. The Magic Winter versus I don't get the hate towards Boba Fett. I thought it was pretty damn good. I didn't see it. <laughs> I guess I only saw Rogue One and then the Rise of Skywalker. I don't even know what the what episode eight is called. Force Awakens. The Empire Strikes Back again. Pedro Pascal, the Chilean Nathan Fillion. Wow, what a comment. I don't accept that. There's no, there's no one like Nathan Fillion. He's one of a kind. <coughs> My throat hurts a lot. No steel golems this time. Mandalorian? Whoa. Maybe she's born with it. Just get in each other's way. This is the way. Oh, Leo, that's a good point. There's no one like Nathan Finley. Why isn't he Boba Fett? He is Boba Fett. He always has been Boba Fett. Oh god, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to stream Soul Reaver 2 next week. <laughs> Nathan Fillion is not in Soul Reaver. But if he was, the game probably would have sold a lot better. Um... Yeah, let's go. I have hair in my eyeball. Lose all my rocks. That should help. says he has a buddy who's a huge Star Wars nerd who hated the last three films but vehemently disagrees with the community about Boba Fett. 
Aside from the prequel trilogy, Mando and Boba Fett are probably my favorite. For them, in fact. More grounded instead of force lighting. Force lightning and sabers everything. Yeah. I think, uh... No! No! Alright, no trouble. I will say that the action in the in episode seven, eight, nine was not good. It was not good. <coughs> There's a lightsaber fight that uh, Kylo Ren and Rey are doing with like some Imperial guards or something like that. There are like people in the background just like doing these weird moves with no enemies around them. It's not like they forgot to put in CGI, they were just there for background color. It just looked really bad. Can't remember what scene it was. Or even what episode it was. I got my head crushed in Game of Thrones, just trying to take my helmet off now. <laughs> I don't even remember why I'm fighting these guys. Oh, it's for a crystal mine. Worth it! The only mine in this game. Right. We're gonna collect this and we're gonna go back home. something right here. I'm curious. Curious little rhino. travel too far. I don't want to run into somebody who has a boat, but I don't know. They have access to boats. Alright, I'm going to build a ivory tower if I can. I can't. I'm missing... Sulfur. Sulfur. Now I can. Boom! I should have done that before the week was up, but whatever. I don't have any ore. Yes, I accept. <laughs> Orcish witch doctor living in the hut deepens your knowledge of magic by showing you how to cast stones, read portents, and decipher the intricacies of chicken entrails. Or says, I like the Jedi, it's not Kylo Ren. Yeah. This kind of has a hissy fit for three episodes.
<laughs> Where did all these gems come from? Oh, I have a gems in mine. I totally forgot about that. That was right... Somewhere. I don't remember where. What about the sulfur? No, so I can trade gems. Not the sulfur. I mean, uh, mercury. Trying to get to bone dragons. Maybe we should upgrade the ivory tower. I need a library. A bit of a library. That's what we're doing. Blind! That was a really good spell. That we can't cast. It says, I've been thinking, if I was slash had an MCU character, I'd like it to be Herbie Hancock Rocket. Completely random. <laughs> Whoa! Hit a jackpot of some kind. Sorcerer's Castle called Dragon Tooth? No. No. Give me that Mercury. Oh, two gems. Really nice. I don't know if you know the song. Herbie Hancock? Uh. I know Herbie Hancock. I don't remember the names. All those tunes, but most of them are instrumental. <laughs> and those ghosts can keep that ore mine. No thanks. Nobody's town be upgraded to a castle. And the only things that are upgradable are, in fact, these neutral uh, neutral castles. Oh, they're fighting each other. Let's, let's keep exploring. I stop. I don't know. right there. E 74 iron golems. Oh, there's a spell scroll right there. I hope it's Dimension Door. Wow. Red and yellow are kicking the hell out of each other. Ah, oh, there's a barbarian castle right there. Is it a neutral one? We'll have to find out. I see an old mystic perched on a rock. 
You walk towards him to see if he has any words for you to, on your quest. And he says, First, I see you as a great conqueror of the lands of men. Secondly, I see you as a mighty ruler of vast armies, well loved by your troops. Thirdly, I see you as a slayer of legions of dragons, your body bathed in their fire. Lastly, I see you standing on the shores of the fountain, unable to cross. And the mystic fades away. Find a lab where a container which houses an old vellum scroll. The runes on the container are very old, and the artistry with which it was put together is stunning. As you pull the scroll out, you feel a beautiful of magical power. I bet you it's Dimension Door. Summon Boat Spell. Okay. <coughs> Not as exciting as Dimension Door. Oh no. That's a normal castle. <coughs> That's a normal ass castle. That looks like Dimension Door to me. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But I can't get to. Found one set of liths. That's been all. All right, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go through the world. Buy some troops now. Or week of the plague just ruins me. Subaculture. That's a dumb name for a castle, <laughs> but okay. Oh, I can build a cloud castle. What the f am I doing? Un. Trading for sulfur. Trading for sulfur. Trading for sulfur. Mama, ma, 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 mausoleum. Making sure he didn't miss any flotsams or shipwreck survivors or anything. I like how the island is kind of like a swirling sort of vortex, so the castle is probably in the very center. I want to build a cloud castle before I forget to. The end of the week. Let's go, baby! way over here. <laughs> That's fine. Let's go. Any five gems and five self. Fun Van Gambling Cabin and L. Welcome back to the chat. Great to see you. So have you beaten this campaign before? Nope. The first time I've ever played it. This is my first try. month of the hornet. Man, those hornets love their months. I'm still in the, like, 
explore the area phase. I think we have to fight some golems to be able to get onto the mainland. For God's sake, don't go through this whirlpool. Uh, too late. And those pouch of gems right there that I really, really want. There's freaking nothing over here. Very disappointing. The fact that Red can dimension door is very unsettling. Good search over there, but yeah, that's the only way onto the mainland. We can't land anywhere. It's very disturbing. It's not an easy one. Good luck. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't like the sound of that. Mm, I need gems. Pro tip, um, oh, this sucks. I can dimension door across islands. Unless it's, as long as it doesn't spoil anything, sure. Let them steal your boat? I don't intend to. Don't intend to let that happen. Okay, dimension door to there. I don't think you can dimension door to my island. That's reassuring. Either of my islands. We have a decent amount of stuff. Oh my god. Go do that. Red is very powerful. That's annoying. All right, well, uh, we're going to need a lot more Titans.
Actually, now I see why the order of negation is very um, good for this campaign, this scenario. Um, black dragons are already immune to magic, so casting spells is not needed, not necessary. There's no time limit, although they could capture the castle before we can. We have a spell scroll summon boat also. Oh, uh, Cohen Van Gambling Cabin NL. Did you mean don't let him steal your boat because it's just annoying or because um, we need it to finish the scenario? Because I found the spell scroll and the mist there was a mystic there who told me, I see you conquering the world by getting to the end and not being able to get there. <clears throat> So it's across water. They have Dimension Door though, so they could probably do this thing. Um, it's hella annoying. Okay. <laughs> so you're saying that just because it's annoying. Fair. That does sound terrible. Dimension door is annoying too. Don't want them to capture everything you have now. To go capture everything, yeah. Um, I don't have much. I don't have a lot of mines or anything. You want to be able to afford all those rocks. Yeah, yellow player is going to be vanquished pretty soon. Yeah, there they go. Going, going, gone. have a crystal mine. We have sources for ore and mercury. We just don't have any sulfur. We don't have a huge uh, cash draw. But we do have seven titans. That's something at least. I don't think I don't think they can dimension door to either one of my two islands here. Famous last words, perhaps. I think I gotta go get to these lifts, which were way over here. Rayman says, uh, "Castle you need to capture is a wizard castle, right?" My guess is the sphere is gonna be needed for that fight. Almost undoubtedly. We have it, and we're using it, and I hate it, because I love casting spells. But, um... Red is already... a little too powerful. Oh, 
Oh shit. Chest over there. <coughs> We'll go to that fort. six pikemen? Nothing. That's nothing to me. Just gonna take the gold. Nope. Soldiers living in the fort teach you a few new defensive tricks. Plus one in defense. Hell yeah. I'll we'll collect this stuff too. Whoops. Two hundred twenty-five gargoyles. Uh, she... They're fighting us. cast any frickin' spells. Certainly doesn't feel nice, now does it? I lost a boar. No. That's it, though. Awesome. Ebor Titans. <laughs> Can't even drop a stack of orcs. Say my throat's really bothering me. No casualty.
see a silver axe embedded deeply in the ground. After several unsuccessful attempts by your army to remove the axe, you tightly grip the handle of the axe and effortlessly pull it free. Plus one, uh, plus two to attack. Oh, I thought it was plus one. Hell yeah! take some of those artifacts off his person. Spike Tub is pretty cool. I might consider getting that too. Oh, they got so many dragons and elementals, it's gonna be dumb. I'm afraid I'm wasting too much time. Four! Yeah! Boards are available. 40? She. Uh oh. Trying to get to. I'm curious, getting distracted. Dimension over there and attack me? I hope not. Pack of Titans. That's up. Okay, all of the resource things for sure. Um, fire cloak. I don't think I need. Hold on to this. this. Actually, you take this. I don't need that. You need to Berserk spells, that's kind of handy. As your cold spells, do, I don't cast any spells. That's probably it. Your army's ambushed by a small tribe of wild and none too bright orcs. You fend them off easily and the survivors flee in all directions. One of the orcs is wearing a polished spiked helm. Figuring it will make a good souvenir, you take it. Because you plus one to attack and defense. Alrighty.
Okay. Well, apparently that's not the way in. That's weird. Black Dragon, Black, Black Dragons. Miss Cook Arama. Okay. Uh, right. That was a trouncing. One to the plate. Okay, great. Let's load the game in. So the place for us to land here, it is a very bad idea to do so. Uh, okay, so Wilfrey is our main hero right now. This is what he's packing. He's got the Sphere of Negation, which is actually a problem for us. Let me get to that in a moment. I've had some time to think about it, and we have a problem. I'm pretty sure the only place we can land is right here. And I'm pretty sure over on one of these islands, we... Uh, might have actually been this one, the one with the lift. The lift takes us to here. We can't move from this spot. Unless we know Dimension Door. So we have to land here. And then make our way to the middle of the map somewhere. I've never seen this map before. I've never played this scenario. But we picked up this artifact. The spell scroll that lets us cast Summon Boat. And before we picked it up, there was a little text box that said there was a um, an oracle or a seer or a mystic or something like that who said that a vision. They said, I see you conquering the world. But before you get there, you see you're not being able to make it. 
and then we get this immediately. So, we have to capture a specific castle to win. I guarantee you it's inaccessible by land. So we have to get here and cast summon boat, and then sail it to the castle. However, we have the Sphere of Negation, which means we can't cast um, Summon Boat. So either two of our heroes need to go in there and both of them survive, or pray to God. <laughs> There's a castle near the water. We're going to have to fight and take that castle. Um... And then recruit a hero from there who's going to temporarily take the uh, temporarily take the uh, Sphere of Negation so we can cast Summon Boat. Leo, welcome back to the chat. Thank you for the subscription. I appreciate that. Scenario 7? No, this is Scenario 4. I'm just thinking through our plan because I've been playing the scenario for six months in-game, which is way longer than I usually play any scenario. Reason for that is it did take me a while to explore the map and also i tried landing here to explore more and i ran into a pack of black dragons um and i didn't appreciate that another wrinkle that i haven't that i've considered but i haven't uh mentioned in our little gameplay strategy session right here there are a lot of travelers tents and no barriers <laughs> The, uh, scenario before there were a lot of barriers and no freaking traveler's tents so I don't know Let's see if I can get there on land actually The fact that they're not scrambling to me is worrisome. Oh, you're kidding. I have to I have to land here. I can't walk around this tree. Which means I have to land a boat here. It might be equidistant with the other boat. Someone's the nearest unoccupied boat. Oh, I gotta land it there. Uh, <clears throat> Wish you could dismiss boats. All right, well. That didn't work. <laughs> so much for that plan. Actually, I'm going to try doing this. This is this will probably be the closer boat to her. She's standing there, but we'll give it a try. Population doubles, okay. So, like, this is my plan. And then have her walk down to here. Uh, oh, doable. We're gonna skip it.
Alright, I'm gonna save the game again. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Cast summon vote. Oh, it worked! Hell yeah! Boom! Kiss my pickle game. Alright, let's go. What's up here? This is straight. This looks promising. That's really weird looking. But alright. Water. Oh, uh, 33 black dragons. No. Mm -mm. Uh, 23 black dragons. Winner. I need a hero here. Oh, he didn't come attack me. They're 15 in the castle. Oh, shit. All right, I mean... Quit playing games with my heart, dude. What's up here? The gold keyword is rescue, all right? Only 15 black dragons, winner. Airball. Oh god. Okay, only eight. 68. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, I have the Seer Negation. I'm so silly. Alright, alright. Only one. I'll take it. Ow. That's a problem. Gotta take out the dragons first. <clears throat> oh, goodbye, dragons. Hell yeah. I don't know. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, so we took a castle. Only lost two titans. Pretty encouraging. Pretty encouraging. Take a look. 24 black dragons. Shit. Fifty-five griffins would probably be better than seventy-one boars. I'm just gonna save the game real quick. I have to fight this hero. If he won't move. I'm pretty sure I think I need to get that traveler's tent. Week of the Eagle! Oh no. Sulfur. Okay. Save the game one more time. 
I'm gonna do this. Actually, I think I, I think I have to fight. I think I might have to fight the uh, the hero here. I need a little bit of time to get that traveler's tent, make the exchange. Oh god, I hate it. Oh god, I hate it. I'm gonna save it on a different save file. Can't cast anything. Keep forgetting. Shit. Aqua keyword is unicorn. Rescue and unicorn. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Bailing. Bailing, we are bailing. Alright, take the orb of negation. Uh Marco. Cast. Summon boat. Summon boat fail. Why did summon boat fail? Why did summon boat fail? Okay. Okay, okay. I almost freaked out. Take this back. Here we go. Have to be near water. I was near water. This dude's got 40 black dragons. Oh, they eat a lot of, a lot of roast boar tonight. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Piglets, I'm sorry. Run. All right, where's this? Oh, look at that. Aqua barrier. Unicorn and rescue. Uh, magical aqua barrier. Unicorn. Speak the magic word, the glowing barrier dissolves into nothingness. Gold barrier was rescue. Hell yeah. Oh, he's got... He doesn't have a lot of stuff. See if I can level up one more time. He doesn't have a lot of stuff. This is so encouraging. I think we might have done it. Why did I think this would be way harder? All right, so we did level up one more time. All right, here we go, people. What could be the final fight of the campaign? 
Where did all that come from? Crystal ball, my dick. So Crystal ball didn't show me that. It said he had 14 black dragons and a couple of hydra. So angry right now. Good. Oh, hell. It's not what I wanted to happen. There's a lot of <laughs> chat is like, well, at least you made it to the end. I don't care how many times I start over. I'm not going to beat a hundred black dragons. So you know I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fucking cheat. Son of a bitch. <laughs> You got a hundred black dragons? I got a hundred black dragons. Do you know what I want to do? I want to do this. Have them take out their own griffins. God. Yards, this is the good old three, two, one, six, seven. I hate cheating. I don't want to do it, but what is this nonsense? Still might lose. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on with this. Come to you. Uh, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. 
but it's what we had to resort to. I had no chance. Captain Magic, you are victorious. Sure, whatever. With all your rivals defeated and scattered before you, the fount of wizardry is yours. Now you will control the power to shape a new age of magic and unlock the secrets of time itself. Wield this power wisely, and you shall become the greatest wizard of this or any other world. So we lost. We couldn't quite beat the, the, the scenario as intended. I don't know if I, if I restarted that a hundred times, I don't know if I could ever beat a hundred plus black dragons. I really don't think I could do it. Plus an additional, what was it, like 70 something red dragons? That was, that was, that was too much, man. That's too much. But maybe you'll have better luck in your own playthrough. But in any event, I want to thank you all for coming with me on this journey. This has been Heroes Might Magic 2, the expansion campaign, Wizard's Isle. We'll see you in the next campaign. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye.